Hey, what's up, feckers? So, with the arrival of Endless Kuva and of course the wave of popularity that's about to hit Fam or Bone Daddy, I thought I would show off my updated Dispoil Shadows Hybrid Necros build to help some of you out getting as much Kuva as possible without taking a beating in the process. So I'm gonna cut straight to the point with this video and I'm not gonna waffle on because most of you already know how Necros works. I will show an alternate build at the end of the video that I use as well. So this is the same build I ran on my hour long Mott Fisher for my cone video and I only left that mission because I got bored. Necros didn't really struggle one little bit with this build. This is my current Necros setup. Like I said, it has both the Despoil and the Shield of Shadows augments equipped. If you want just a Despoil build, then drop out the Shadows, lower your strength, and of course go for much more range and efficiency. But this setup is great for solo Kuva farms with the endless missions, or even in squads as well. With this build, you will have 90% damage reduction on your Necros because of that 214 power strength. You will drain 12 health with each Desecrate, but you will have a constant stream of health orbs because of Desecrate as well, and you will also have an extra 1,350 50 armor due to that health conversion mod. Health conversion gives you 450 armor for every health orb that you pick up. So that's what those three little yellow kind of discs you see floating around my necro cell. So basically your tanky is fuck and you're getting loads of life support modules because of that desecrate being active all the time, not to mention the extra loot as well. Now I also have arcane pulse equipped for health regen on my necros but it's not exactly a requirement. I just stuck it on because it made it that little bit easier. Of course, Arcane, Guardian or Grace are just as good. Now, you will also constantly have your seven shadows active with your Necros all of the time, and they will be getting attacked by enemies and taking all of the pressure off you, which will leave you free to kill absolutely everything. Now, if you're struggling for energy with this build, you could drop something out for Hunter Munitions, or even Equilibrium, because Equilibrium is an amazing mod on Necros, since you will be getting a lot of those health orbs as well. Now, the most important thing to remember about this build and the way I use it is that it is for farming Kuva on the Endless Kuva mission tile set. So range isn't a big requirement because of the small rooms and corridors on the Kuva Fortress tile set. If you want more range, then just stick it on. You will still have 25 meters of desecrate with this build, which is fine because you will be cleaning up the room that the Kuva extractor is actually in and you won't be leaving it because you don't want it to get destroyed. Now, 214% power strength is needed for shadows to give you that 90% damage reduction. Anything lower than 214 and it's less damage reduction. So if you're comfortable with less damage reduction, then you could drop it down and not have to suffer the low efficiency that I have on this build because of Blind Rage. You could drop out Blind Rage and put Intensify in instead or whatever mod you want. So that's pretty much my Kuva farm or Bone Daddy build, short, sweet and to the point. My alternate build is pretty much the same just with less power strength and more efficiency so your health isn't chunking as much from Desecrate. So if you didn't have an Arcane Pulse or another way to regen your health, maybe use the Furies as your secondary weapon and the Syndicate mod for it which will of course heal you. Like I said, Equilibrium is a great mod to try out as well. Basically tweak this build to fit your own playstyle and enjoy showering in all of that Kuva. Now do me a huge favour and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks so much for watching.